in this week's COVID safe car review, we're 1.5 metres apart. We will be masked up in the car, at least one of us will. David, what are we testing this week? We are testing the Subaru WRX STI Spec R all-wheel drive. I think that pretty well runs out of time for yeah. the video. Oh, we better show the viewers. We'll step out of shot. Now, we move over to the car. First of all, you can get STI with or without the wing, but the R spec comes with the wing. This shape has been around for quite a long time. It's incredibly muscular. The guards, they were more flared than the regular Impreza. Now, during the life of this car, I think I'm, I'm right in saying this, they split WRX off from the normal Impreza range, which I thought was a little bit strange, but there you go. As we move along, you'll see a lower body skirt, and that actually helps with aerodynamics. So it's not just there to look pretty, though it does look very, very pretty. And I think this car generally looks very, very pretty. We've got smart entry. So if the key's in your pocket, it'll lock and unlock from the door handles. We've got blind spot monitoring here on the outside mirrors. We've got the STI badge. This is the important bit. This lets people know that you've paid extra money. And at dinner parties, it's bragging rights along with this really cool vent. The wheels come in for special mention, they're 19 inch, and they've got yellow Brembo brakes. Six pot calipers at the front and two pot in the rear. Then we come around to the front. Is, is it important to have a bulge at the front? It is important to have, the bigger the bulge, the better, because as you know, that means more power. It's LED headlights, a fancy lower apron, and this looked a little bit better than the standard uh, Impreza of the time. This car is about to be pensioned off, and in uh, November or December this year, we'll see the brand new model WRX. Now, there's a couple of things about this. It only comes in a manual. The WRX comes also in a CVT. For some reason, they think STI drivers want the full Monty, but it does mean that the manual, along with the fact that there's hydraulic power steering, so you actually can feel the road, means that a lot of the active safety things you can't have. From the back, Alan, you talked about the front having a, a good lower apron. This actually is quite plain here. If you look at some other cars, they often have pods in doing it, but the most distinctive thing is the four exhaust pipes uh, at the back. It, from a distance, if you can't really see this, it looks quite a, an ordinary car, but when you get close, of course, some features stand out. Size boot is reasonable you know, for this type of car. It is one that competes in the Corolla class of vehicle. And underneath, you have the equipment and a space saver spare, not one of those pump up with glue type of repair And it kits. is just an 18 inch spare, whereas the wheels are 19 inch. It is a sedan. Do I have to duck my head? Well, not too bad. I've Can actually had worse. Can you hoppers in? I, I have done worse in some SUVs. Plenty of room, Alan. You've had the seat back a little. The stitching makes it nice. I don't feel too claustrophobic, but the headroom is limited because of the sunroof. In the back, there's no controls for temperature and not really much else uh, in that regard. Let's but put you in the front. I not only have electric seats, I have heated seats as well. We from the rally days would have thought heated seats was sheer luxury. No, they're only on one side though. Well, I don't care about the navigator. <laughs> The uh, set out well, isn't that nice? I, I'm very comfortable. There's straight arm there, plenty of room for the legs. Uh, a hand drops naturally to the gear lever. So here we have what you would think is traditional, although it's nice to see the seat uh, memories just clearly set out here. But look what's down here, a blind spot monitor. If you don't know it's there, you're not likely to find it. And you certainly don't want to be looking at it when you're driving along, learning the car something to get used to. The uh, number of controls on here are quite simplistic, but enough, I think, a cruise control, voice recognition, and obviously volumes and being able to scroll through things. There is also, though, for extra information, you have this 
little extra set of informations that you can then scroll through your screen, which if I were to turn on, it would make it. Oh, I love the sound of that. Me too. Oh, and I like the fact that the dials are nice and simple and that the centre LCD just gives you the information you need, including the fact that you can change the centre diff, David, which is just down to your left hand. Yes. All right, let's get on the road. All right, David. Now, remember, you've got someone in the back who's of a delicate constitution. I, I will not uh, get too carried away. Well, we've got Nicky Lauder in the front, which is, you know, I always think a bit of a worry. I can feel that all-wheel drive kicking in. Now, David, what mode have you got this in? S-Drive Pink. Pink's important, I think. Now, you can see... You can see uh, out the front window that these curves are really reasonably extreme. David's managing to get the Subaru up to 6,000 RPM. So it proves that you can actually have fun even when you're not trying to break your neck. And I'm within the speed limit. Oh, jeez. God, it hangs on though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. You're not actually speaking, Dave. Remember to speak. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, Alan. Oh. The thing is, the instantane... Oh, look, it's a wet road. Yeah. The instantaneous pull out of a corner. See, well, I I'm, think it's because you've got it in the... in the... appropriate zone. The throttle response is wonderful. Even though it is a turbo engine, it is one that you go into a corner and you want power to come out of that corner, whoosh, it gives you immediately. You're not having to think ahead, even though it might be just split second stuff. It's just wonderful. And not only does it come in, it comes in with a boom. So I put this back into normal mode, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna slip it up just for this takeoff into Sport Plus. David, I've got it in Sport Plus. Jeez, Mary and Joseph, that's sun. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okie dokie. Now, I know that... Uh... Did you hear that dump? That is a sound that my young fella longs for, the sound of the exhaust gate. Alan, can I say this is probably the first road test of a WRX where someone was actually sitting in the back even while it's going. It's a very comfortable ride in the back, despite the fact that Nicky Lauder was driving down the mountain. It was very comfortable. I didn't get tossed around hardly at all. Well, and I only feared for my life on one corner. Well, I, I undoubtedly took it very easy so as not to be hard on you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. As good as this is in corners, it is brilliant on the highway. One thing that I will notice, and you commented on this earlier in the week, David, was our economy. Now, I've got one lot of displays up here on the top of the dash, and that'll give me things like uh, turbo boost and so forth. But in this mode, it's just giving me the digital readout for our fuel use. <laughs> Can we move on to our central screen here, which includes Apple CarPlay? The sound now I've spoken to you in hands-free earlier in the week, it was fairly clear. Perhaps we could move on to something useful, David, like cabin noise. Cabin? Sorry, cabin what? <laughs> it is a little bit like that, I'm afraid. In the it... back here, I'm clearly getting road noise, but again, that's very much a function of the quality of the road we're driving over. It's not a bad road by any means. Well, not only that, we've got low profile tyres, large diameter low profile tyres and not only does it make your ride less comfortable but it makes your cabin, cabin less quiet. The thing about this David is that it is a sports car first and foremost. It's a track car but it was designed not for tracks, it was designed for rallies. And we had uh, Molly Sugden, uh, that was with Subaru. Uh, I think you might so, find that's uh, Molly Taylor. Mo Molly, yeah, Molly Taylor, that's what I said, you must have gotten it wrong. And of course, here's Molly Sugden now, out on the track. And Subaru has a long rally tradition. 
and in fact one of their best drivers, David Crockett, was one of their uh, brand ambassadors. That's, uh, Cody Crocker. Co Co Cody Crocker. Cody Crocker was one of their brand ambassadors. He's Cody in action. Oh, this is a quite a bit of road. Yeah, Alan, you immediately noticed that we're on a re-sheeted yeah. road, Gee, which is some... not the rolled-in aggregate as much, and it's incredibly quieter. Do they do that? You're a, you're an engineering uh, person. You're a, a fellow of Engineers Anonymous or whatever it is. To, to do the very smooth cost, uh, the very smooth surface cost you three times the amount per square metre. WRX STI remains one of my favourite cars of all time, not just because it's sexy looking, it is sexy as, and the fact that chabs from the council estate think it's pretty cool. And the best part about driving an STI is it makes you feel 18 again. David, does it make you feel 18 again? Yeah, is it the history that I remember? No, it's still a lovely car. But as always, if you've liked the film, hit like, Leave a comment. And uh, where are we putting the uh, thing? I think over the top of the oh, car. Over, over the top of the wing. Oh, all right. Well, that'll be in front of your face again. <laughs> That's another benefit. <laughs> to subscribe.